Mexican boxing legend Julio Cesar Chavez refuses to ever watch Ryan Garcia again. Let's look at it. Julio Cesar Chavez on Javante Davis's KO of Ryan Garcia. He didn't even hit him. It says Julio Cesar Chavez lashed out against Ryan Garcia after the latter's defeat to Javante Davis on Saturday. The boxing legend was skeptical about the impact of the force that Davis threw to knock out Garcia with a minute 44 in the seventh round. Chavez questioned Ryan's resistance and claimed that Davis's punch was not accurate enough to make Garcia quit the fight. He goes on and he says this, and we'll get to the quotes. So Julio Chavez, man, he, he's going in. He says, quote, it wasn't even a punch where he hit him. What time he hit him? I'm not going to watch him anymore. I don't want to watch any more Ryan Garcia fights. Count me out. He said, like Kendrick, I love when you count me out. I love when you count me out. And of course, you guys want to hear my thoughts. Listen, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts like usual. Ryan Garcia, he went out and he tried his best. He came up short. I like how he took the L, you know, took it on the chin post fight. Didn't really that I seen make too many excuses. He did say he was kind of weak and all that. But, you know, overall, he, he took it like a champ. Right. Julio Cesar Chavez, I think to a degree, he's being a bit like, I mean, I can't tell him what to watch if he's he a boxing legend, you know. So if he said he ain't watching him anymore, that's on him. Like, you don't have to watch him. I can't. I'm not not that I can't. It's not just that I can't. It's that I don't care to convince another man to watch something. You know what I mean? Like some people watch Breaking Bad or Narcos. Some people that might not be their cup of tea. So I'm not here to convince Chavez Sr. what to watch. If he, he said he ain't going to watch him, he ain't going to watch him. I think he's being a little bit harsh. He's saying the punch didn't land. I definitely think a punch landed. But here's the thing. I agree that I personally thought Ryan Garcia quit. I, I thought that. I thought he quit because it looked like he truly could have tried to fight to get up, you know, and I understand how debilitating and paralyzing a body shot can be. But he looked like he was going to get up, but he looked like he was having second thoughts. Like he knew, basically, the reason why I'm saying it's a quit is because how it all transpired and how it all, like, was revealed is... He looked like he knew he wasn't in the shape to continue because like he would basically it would have been bad. He would have got punished worse if he stood up. So he just decided so that to technically, to be honest, to me, that's a quit, you know, because a fighter, you whether you're going to go out on your shield or go out bad, that's what you kind of sign up for, you know. There's high implications like Wilder versus Fury. He knew he was signing up for a dangerous fight against a bigger guy you know these are the things mike tyson all the people who've ever fought they know you're, you're risking your life so you know you have to go out like a samurai that's just you know i've seen because even look at caleb plant caleb plant was badly hurt in the later rounds versus david benavidez but you can't duplicate that attitude he just he even if he was going to lose the fight he wasn't going to give Benavidez the satisfaction of adding another knockout win and body on his resume. So when he gets announced as 27 and 25 or whatever his record is, you see what I'm saying? So some guys, they can will themselves to do it. Ryan, unfortunately, he couldn't, you know, Ryan couldn't will himself to to continue. So it is what it is. I think Chavez is being a little bit hard. And I think a little bit of that is when it's a fighter who is Latino and a fighter who is associated with Mexican culture because Garcia, I believe, is Mexican American or whatever. And Mexican fans were rooting for him. There was a lot of people because they were asking him post fight. They say, "Hey, what do you think about the support of Mexican fans and things like that?" So all what I've noticed in boxing is it's it's a lot of emotion and a lot of prideful people. So when you have a fighter who quote unquote mexican or hispanic latino fans identify if it's not a good performance that machista and machismo prevails and then now like the same fans don't want to claim you we've seen it with victor ortiz if victor ortiz when he beat andre berto 
there were Mexican fans and Latino fans claiming Victor Ortiz. But when he was quitting versus Madonna or got beat by Luis Colazzo or got two-piece by Floyd Mayweather and knocked out, now people don't want to claim him. Or when Berto knocked him out in a rematch, right? If Ryan would have knocked Tank out, which was a tall ask, I told you who was going to win the fight. But hypothetically, if he would have knocked Tank out, I think the same people who are bashing Ryan and saying, oh, yeah, he wasn't all this and that, there a lot of them were supporting him and hoping he wins. But again, hope floats. In boxing, that doesn't work and has never worked. You can't go off of hope, you know, the hope factor in terms of boxing. So I think people are just resenting the fact that Gervonta, a black fighter from Baltimore, high rivalry, high profile fight, stopped Ryan Garcia. And, you know, that's not what you want to get behind. Same thing with Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia got beat up by Errol Spence and all like all but stopped. And some people who were huge Mikey Garcia fans, all of a sudden they didn't want to claim him. And when Mikey Garcia is beating a black fighter like Robert Easter, who looks significantly taller, some of the same fans was all in because I was there at the Staples Center. So, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. Let me know what you guys think of Chavez Sr. He says he'll never watch Ryan again. And I can verify that was a punch that did land. And I don't doubt that Ryan was hurt, as I've said before. He was definitely hurt. But he, I think he didn't want to get turned into a highlight reel for Gervonta Davis. He didn't want to get memed. That's why people are saying he quit. You know, not that he wasn't in pain or he wasn't going through it. He knew that the pain was going to be 10 x if he stood up. And that's what it was. Let me know what you think of the legend Chavez Sr. publicly banning and, you know, promising he's not going to watch Ryan Garcia. He has no interest in watching Ryan Garcia. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Listen, you guys want to support the channel. There's multiple ways to do it. You can hit the join button, hit the subscribe button. Shout out to everybody. Let cash apps and super chats you could do super thanks appreciate y'all hopefully you guys enjoy this video subscribe to the channel and i'm out introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.